That just sounds terrible. And I don't mean they might be giants sound bad. I mean these Techniques SB S407s don't sound great. I use these with an RX V365 Yamaha receiver, and there's something going on with, I think, the mid part of the speaker. I suspect the crossover caps have gone bad in these, and I get some distortion at higher volumes in the mid-range. Now, they couldn't have made the capacitors much easier to get to if they'd tried on this. All you have to do is just take out the four screws holding in the terminals on the back, and they're just right on the other side here. Pretty easy. And with this thing pulled out, it's fairly trivial just to unsolder two points and remove the capacitors to replace them with new ones. So I thought we'd do something a little more interesting with these. So to make this more interesting, I'm going to use a receiver with a spectrum analyzer, a dual trace oscilloscope, and my SIGGEN to find the exact frequency that it's having problems with. Well, I thought my signal generator was going to cooperate, but its output is being really fuzzy right now for some reason, and uh, yeah, it's jittering back and forth, so I'm not going to be able to use that. So I'm going to find some kind of uh, SIGGEN app that I can run on my phone. Okay, so I've got my phone connected to both the oscilloscope and the receiver. And now I'm going to connect this probe to the crossover so we can see what's going into the three separate speakers. Although I can only connect one at a time, obviously. Okay, I should be connected, but I think I'm connected to the woofer. Oh, let me... You can see it doing stuff. Maybe I don't have a good enough connection. Okay, so here we have it connected, and it's responding pretty well. And if I increase the frequency, yep, that looks good. Decrease it. Alright. So, I'm not seeing a problem with the signal anywhere here, though. Maybe there. Yeah. Listen for it to change about at about 1700 hertz. Okay, so I do think this is the mid, because uh, it goes all the way down. It's not cutting out low frequencies. So I'm going to try a different connection. Did it just invert? What? Why is it inverting? That must be the tweeter, but... So it doesn't quite invert. This is strange. Watch. Let me, here, let me trigger on a, oh, I can't really trigger on a point. Uh, here, let me do this. So that's as close to a point as I can get. But I'll align these. Now watch this one shift. It goes forward, or it did. Here we go. See that? It moves. I don't know why it goes so high, or 
or low. Yeah, that's really strange right there. I'm not sure which colored wire is going to what speaker in the back, so I should investigate that. Okay, so this is the mid uh, that we're seeing that weird thing on. So I'm wondering if maybe I replace the capacitors if that will go away. Okay, that's enough testing. I think it's time to recap. With how these are positioned, I kind of just have to solder them in place. So we're going to do the 1.8 microfarad one first. Is it glued down? Ah, it is. Okay, that explains it. Get a wedging utensil in there. both at once. I think I got one leg out and I ripped the other one. Nope. All right. Let's do the other one. Wait, no. Let's let's put the replacement in first because I don't want to get these confused. So again, that was the 1.8 microfarads. And, yeah, I, I, I got axial replacements. Oh, oh well. Would I have preferred to not, but I did. Heat up both points. And push it through. Now we'll flood that with some good solder. Ouch, they're warm. All right, next the 2.2. And yeah, it's I'll push on it from the side to loosen the glue's grip. Whoa. Oh, might have just done it. Yep. Okay then, no screwdriver needed. Now these are bipolar caps, so you don't really worry about the polarity when you're installing them. So that's why I'm just able to stick them in however I please. There we go. Some real solder. Okay, let's see if it does that weird phase shift thing again. All right, with new caps. Ah, it just goes away as you get lower. That is doing what I would expect. I do believe that is fixed. Yeah, it sounds a lot better to me now. Well, this is going to have been a fairly short video. Uh, I didn't really think that this was going to be that long. I'm trying to do a couple videos uh, ahead now because there's a really big video I've been wanting to make for a while. And I need a bit of a buffer so I can focus on that. But uh, for now, yeah, I'm happy with these speakers. There's nothing really special about them. Uh, I got them at Goodwill, unlike most of the things I own. And I think that they're pretty good. I like how they sound. So I'll see you guys later.